Billy Burke, the boy, the man, and the mission. In Pittsburgh, Billy showed me the church where his family went and the door where he used to sneak out when he was six and seven years of age and escape Sunday school. Then cross a four lane busy road and arrive a few more blocks away at grandma's house. Knocking on the door, his grandma, who he called ma'am, would open it, oh Billy, your dad is gonna punish you. Just a couple years later at the age of nine, Billy would only have weeks to live a brain tumor. The hospital didn't like it, but grandma, ma'am, got permission to take Billy to a miracle service led by Catherine Kuhlman. It was a Friday morning. The church was full. A thousand were still lined up outside, and they are in that line. When from a little side door, a wave to grandma, come. And an usher, an usher they didn't know, says, come, and he finds them a seat. Ma'am, Billy, they had a seat in the balcony. Ma'am, Billy's grandma had said over and over to Billy, Billy, say this, when she touches me, I will be healed. Say it, Billy, when she touches me, I will be healed. Over and over, Billy, say it. Say it, Billy, say it again. The service of praise and worship began, and during that service, oh, so many were being healed. Suddenly, the clear voice of Miss Kuhlman rang out. In the balcony, in the balcony, someone is being healed. Then Catherine said, bring that child to me. Billy said, nine years of age, Billy said, I'm not going. He was sick, yes, but he was nine. He had one eye covered, yes, so that he couldn't just wouldn't see double all the time. He was scared. The second time, Catherine says, bring that child. Second time, Billy says, no, I'm not going. Catherine says, ushers, bring me that child. Billy came. On the stage, a tall, thin woman, tall to a nine-year-old, with skinny fingers, reached down to the sick little boy. As her fingers and her hand was approaching him, he heard these words, his grandma's words. He heard his grandma's voice. When she touches you, you will be healed. Billy fell under the spirit. Decades later, an usher who was there that day said, Billy, when she prayed for you, the first four rows of the church all fell under the spirit. Billy was growing up and taken under Catherine's wing. Often he was given and giving and sharing his testimony as a story of encouragement. However, in his mid-teens, Billy decided, I'm going my way. Billy would ignore the many calls from Catherine Kuhlman because she wanted him to do what God wanted him to do. Billy was on the run from God. He said, I don't wanna do that. Then his wonderful younger brother was killed by a drunken driver in a car accident. Billy's heart was broken. Now in his late teens, having already been promoted to be manager of a shoe store because he sold so many shoes, and then he moved on to selling organs. One day, his mother turns up at the store, walks in and says to him, Billy, what are you doing here? Billy hears God's voice, follows God as he directs him to a Bible school in California. Personally, Brian Mahood here, I've known Billy for over 25 years. This is a good man who works hard to serve the call of God. In this Selwyn church for decades, our friend Billy Burke has brought faith, fun, and miracles and God's touch to bless us. From this church, we've seen a young child with over 100 allergies healed and now ministers all around the world. Hundreds have been healed, saved, and more, touched by the master's hand. Billy Burke loves Canada. 
Billy Burke has blessed Canada. As a church, we have seen our friends touched and healed of incurable diseases by the love and power of God through the pastor, Billy Burke. In 2011, Selwyn Outreach Center, David Cook and Pastor Billy, we take on Loving Toronto through an outreach called Touching Toronto. Over the next 10 years, 180 meetings, thousands came through the door, hundreds healed, hundreds saved. Across Canada, a national program for two and a half years on television, Miracles the Day with Pastor Billy Burke. Get ready, Pastor Billy is returning. Here's what you need to do. Prepare your heart for a miracle. Prepare your heart for a miracle. Find a healing promise in God's word. Find what God's saying when it comes to you. Then say it, then pray it. Like Billy's grandma said, ma'am, Billy, when she touches you, you will be healed. Billy, say it, when she touches me, I will be healed. And finally, prepare your heart by adjusting your attitude. Take communion, perhaps, yourself to help you forgive yourself and forgive anybody and everybody. Then ask the Holy Spirit to soften your heart and get ready to receive a spiritual blessing and see yourself well.